Hello and welcome to Local Edition. I'm Leslie Layton. Well, it's Black History Month and our next guest is working on a special project in hopes of uh, promoting a greater understanding of black history in the Inland Empire. And here she is now to tell us more about it, Wilmer Amina Carter, welcome. Thank you, thank you so much. So what are you doing uh, to promote this greater understanding here? Well, I've been lucky enough to have served in so many organizations in my community over a period of mm, years. Uh -huh. <laughs> and uh, so, and I've always been interested in history since I was a child. I've been interested in especially African history since we didn't have a lot of uh, information about that. Mm -hmm. And uh, now I have an opportunity to work with the university in my area in order to archive. Uh, their larger interest is archiving the African American history in the community, uh, specifically through the organizations that I've served in uh, in my community. So I have an opportunity to work with them in order to do that. What are you hoping people will ultimately take away from this project? That uh, everyone in the community has been a contributor to the growth and development of the community, and that we all have a uh, history to preserve, and we all have one uh, that made a contribution. Uh, is it a little different here in the in Inland Empire? Because my impression is that it is a young community overall, and the influences in the uh, you know black community uh, may be more homogenous than in many other places, since we are uh, a younger community. Well, not really, because people bring their histories with them. Mm -hmm. uh, as a child growing up in the South. Um, mm -hmm. You know, you have a history, but people moved all over the country, and so they brought their histories with them. Even though this is a young area, the history of the people go all the way back to the beginning. And now, some of what you'll also include is uh, the development of social service and political action groups in this area. Tell us about that. Well, I've served in at least 20 or 25 organizations in uh, the area, and Cal State San Bernardino will uh, archive the history of the community through those organizations, through the works of those organizations. So it won't just be about me, it'll be about uh, the organizations that help develop the area. Yeah, you're one of the very few people who, have, who are living, <laughs> who have a high school <laughs> named after them. And uh, they're involved in some uh, projects too involving this black history effort. Uh, how are they participating? The school? Mm -hmm. Well, the school will archive my history uh, for my 16 years of service on the school board and my service, my continued service for the community. And uh, since we're um, in a technology world, uh, they'll also be online with the archives at Cal State San Bernardino. So if you want to know the history of the school in the area, uh, you'll also be able to access the history of the African American uh, participation in the total community. Um, earlier you were talking about um, our contributions and uh, uh, we all bring something to the table when mm -hmm. we meet and you're going back to your roots to check out where you came from and to open a museum in Mississippi well, in Africans, your hometown. Tell exactly. us about that. Well Africans came here and they were their history was disrupted by the enslavement period and in my particular hometown I was born in Neshoba County and it's the home of the Choctaw people and my grandmother's Choctaw. So this story will be about, the museum will house the history of the Choctaw people who lived there originally, the Europeans who came there, and the enslaved Africans who came there. As you know, there's been movies, books, all about the three civil rights workers who were killed there. All of that history is part of my history. And so this museum will house the story from the people themselves, not from Hollywood, not from anyone else, but it will house the history from the people who live there. Uh, there's something very grounding about finding out where you came from. It Thanks really for is. being here. Thank you so much. And for thank you for me. tuning in. Stay with us more HLN next.